welcome along again this morning to Eclipse Motorcycles. Today we're taking out this one, blue ZSB. As you've probably seen previous blogs on or vlogs on these. So another one we're going to be taking out this morning. Just a quick look around the bike on this one. Now this customer has decided to opt for the extra top box on the back. That's 32 litre top box on that. So very, very nice little top box. Once again, nice, easy access to all those engine parts for servicing, maintenance. And it's got those nice big disc brakes front and back. Nice little chrome can on this one as well. And those nice big rubber pegs. And that's got the option of the 32 litre top box on this. So I'm just going to pop my gloves off on this. Because a lot of people say, how does the top box work on these? We can never manage to get them shut or open correctly. Very, very easy with the Lextech top boxes. There's two options on this, so you can put the key in, slide it to the right, open it up, that will release the top box. You can then press the red button that is situated just below, give it a press, and that will pop the top box off should you need to do that. Press again, locks the top box in, and then to lock the top box, what you need to do, if you just shut it, it will still stay open. This has a locking flap just inside here, so what you'll need to do is get the top box, push it forward, Make sure it's clipped and then push it down and lock. That will secure your top box and also lock that back up for you. So we're going to take this one up out on the road and we're going to put some mileage on this one. This is going out to a female customer who's opted to go for this and she's a big follower on our page as well. So we're going to take this one out, get some mileage on it and then show you the rideability of this bike. So once again, starting it from the off, nice easy press of those controls, starts the bike up and you get your gear indicator that just comes up to the front of the screen on this one. Nice big rev counter on this and your mileage is situated just to the top on this. So just roll this one out onto the road and those nice big foot pegs do grip the feet very, very well. Now into traffic we go, nice steady 40 mile an hour, obviously I had to wait a while for the cars, <laughs> hence the gap in the video. The gorgeous little bikes these ZSBs, we have sold quite a lot of them and it's uh, probably one of Lex Moto's best cheap bikes. Obviously, these are priced at 1299 plus you're on the road, so 1490 for a little 125, grand and a half. And we're just going to come out in on that front brake. Pulls up like a dream. Now, on, normally on a front brake test, I'd clutch in and just hand force the front brake if you know what you're doing. But that pulls up absolutely lovely. Uh, so this one is for a female customer and then she's opted for the top box on the back so plenty of room get a full size helmet in there now we're going to knock up some miles and sitting at a nice steady 43 42, 43. It's obviously uh, normal running in procedures. We run these in nice and gently. 40 mile an hour on our ride circuits. Now, if you've seen the previous blogs or vlogs on the uh, ZSBs, I have done quite a lot of these. But obviously, we do one for every customer, so they can go onto the channel, look at their video. That's my bike. It's being ridden. Yes, it is. And this is an absolute dream of a bike. So this one is in the what we call the Royal Blue. Obviously when we uh, we get these in, we run them up, do all the PDIs and bolt checks. I take it out, get it on the yard. And then obviously the helmet's on, we take it out and we give it a run. these little ZSB engines are absolutely bomb proof so unless you're an absolute numpty and you're not doing your servicing 
you're not doing your maintenance regime you're not looking after the bike or you're just absolutely ragging the pants this will go on forever and ever and ever absolutely love these little bikes so all we're going to do now is just sit back put a load of road miles on it and then what we'll do normally around about uh, 18 to 20 miles that's when we'll call it a day and head back to the garage so this is uh, about a third ride test today obviously all the videos are going to take time for me to edit and get up but customer does get to see their bike being ridden and run in now the only thing I have with these ZXBs is obviously I'm a very very long legged rider keep going on about my 32 inside leg and uh, I'm having to sit myself just slightly back off the front of the seat so I've got uh, the old bum cheeks just resting on the beginning of the pillion seat just for the simple reason that I can just stretch my legs out a little bit if you imagine I've been on bike riding now for about an uh, hour and a half obviously on and off different bikes and I'm used to having my legs splayed right behind me on my rear sets when I'm on my sports bike so I do get a lot of leg room so obviously these smaller ones the little 125s it's not uncomfortable for me but obviously if you're riding for an hour and a half with your legs in the same position that's when they, like, they start to cramp up a little bit so I've just sort of sat myself back a little bit but it's ideal if you're I'd say from about five foot uh, four up to around about even six foot two you're still going to fit on this bike nicely and I just bear in fight I'm just going to sit forward where I should be on the bike so I'm actually in the seat now as you should be sat and if I just look down you can just see that my legs are gripping that tank quite nicely and I've still got plenty of room so it's not uncomfortable for me so just coming in off the ride circuit and obviously sat forward on the tank you have got a nice ride position to actually get some grip and get some controls of those brake levers I just tend to perch myself back a little bit so my legs don't cramp up too much but obviously if you're a uh, 4 up to about 6.2 this is going to be the bike for you nice little urban commuter again and it pulls through the gears very very nicely even from 5th with just uh, 3000 rpm that's still got a bit of a uh, chug there to it so comes down through the box very very nicely just by pulling the clutch in and just clicking down through those gears not even to rev match these, so I tend to do different uh, tests, so that's just going through the gearbox normally and then I'm just going to come in on a rev matched gear change at the next set of lights, so up in the fourth quick shoulder check, come across to the first lane rev match down, third, fourth and gear changes on this are very very smooth So impressive little bike obviously it's starting to uh, get a bit overcast at the moment I've got a feeling someone uh, might be getting slightly wet in a few but that's the fun of bike riding and obviously on fresh rubber that's why we tend to uh, wear these tyres in a bit for the customer so they're not going out on a wet day fresh rubber we always say fresh rubber on a wet day is not the best thing to do in the world so we were set to ride all these on Saturday but uh, the weather at our end was absolutely horrendous it was chucking sort of three quarter inch hailstones down torrential rain uh, we had a gap but obviously roads wet and icy and uh, I opted on the side of caution just to uh, leave that for a while now this is going to be fun, I'm going to have to move out into traffic, so quick check of the mirrors, get rid of that lorry over my shoulder, 
and flip out into the second lane. I got a feeling they'd be uh, working on the roundabout. Hence why they've. Uh, no, they're not working on the roundabout, so why have they dropped off a second lane? Ah, oh, there we go. Repair then. So obviously I'm holding the traffic back at the moment. <laughs> I'm sat at 42 mile an hour. Just checking that mirror. Uh, I've got quite a little stream of traffic. So yeah, they're doing the uh, Arnco barriers. But currently eight miles in. Absolutely zero issues, and I wouldn't expect them to be any off of this uh, little ZSB. They are absolutely perfect. They ride like a dream. They handle like a dream. And I'm just going to flip across into the first lane here. Just obviously double check of the shoulder because I've got a slip road next to me. Right, if you're going to buy one of these. It's bomb proof. So just check in, all the levers in the right position once again. Brake and clutch exactly the same height. We have checked absolutely everything on these before they go out for me to ride, but I like to obviously just double check, kill levers, start buttons, all of that on the forecourt before I head off. And then what we normally do is when I'm out I tend to uh, find a bit of open road, no cars about and just uh, have a little blip in a minute. Yeah, so you can tell that works. So it horn works effectively. Even at 40 mile an hour I can still hear that horn. So just double shoulder check again. Moving across to the right, we're going to go back down the dual carriageway. Ride circuit one, one more time. To obviously get the miles on this bike. And just show the customer what it's like on a decent long run. Now I'm coming down in a rev match this time. And that pulls in even coming in on the rev match and hard on the brakes. It still comes in very, very well. So obviously new riders, we would say just stick to your normal gear changes. Just pull down through your box as normal, which is what I'll demonstrate again in just a second. So up to third, fourth, fifth gear on a roundabout. That's just using the full potential of the gearbox. And it corners absolutely superb on this rubber. So we're just going to come in and I'm just going down through the gearbox. Three, two, down to one. Handles very, very good. Obviously I'm dominating position three at the moment because I wanted to know what that car was doing because if you know this roundabout very well you know that people would obviously pick the wrong lane all the time so I tend to be very very hazard perception and then obviously I'm back into position one and we're back down the dual carriageway again 43 mile an hour and just holding that throttle there now it's quite comfortable just holding the throttle in one position because you know exactly where you're going to be it's not going to move 43 44 back to 43 down to 42 there we go so i tend to just lock lock my wrist out i know it's going to be exactly the same amount of uh, revs going on so it's sitting at a nice steady 5000 rpm obviously we stay on a new bike Try not to uh, get it more than 5,000 between gear changes. Don't be racing the engine off. But obviously these uh, start redlining at 10, but I wouldn't expect anybody to be taking it up into the 10,000 mark, even after you've done your running. Keep your revs nice and low, get it up into top gear as quick as you can, and then just vary your speed using the throttle from there. So I've got quite a headwind coming on now. Obviously that weather is closing in on me. But this little ZSB is doing the job. 10 miles in now, so halfway. 
I'm going to save coming down the other side of the dual carriageway this time. We're going to uh, opt for the town circuit and uh, just do a little bit of uh, urban roads. Just flash that lorry in. There we go. So that's the handy thing about this little ZSB. It does have that flash button over here on the back of the finger. Just behind the uh, other controls. For making other car drivers aware of you. So coming back into town after a little uh, couple of rides down the dual carriageway. And what we're going to do now is simulate a little bit of uh, around the town driving. And then head back to the garage and sign this one off. I believe custom is coming in a couple of days for this one. There's a bit of uh, final ride test on it. And once again, pulling in on the gearbox, hiding on the front brake and just clutching and going through that box and it's still pulling as smooth as it did on day one. So currently 17 miles on the clock and this gearbox is just so soft. It's absolutely perfect. So coming into town and I'm going to be needing to take the right hand because we're going to be turning right at this roundabout. Now this roundabout is an absolute pig of a roundabout because left, middle, middle and straight over. But what a lot of people do is hook the middle lane to go right. So the lane I need is right in front of me. Which is this one here. So just holding my lane. It changes nicely going through the corners. Absolutely beautiful little bike this one. And making our way back to the garage. So, as usual, hit the like, subscribe, smash the ham out the bell for future notifications. And don't forget all the social media on my page, www.revbomb.co.uk. You go to the social media page, you'll find all stuff in there. Merch shops there, the gallery, you can follow my big bike. And of course the boys from Eclipse, Eclipse Motorcycles MK.co.uk is the website. Or the Facebook page, probably the best one to be on, Eclipse Motorcycles. Look for the Super Royal Alloy Scooters and the picture of the uh, scooter in the Mini. I'll give the guys a call on the uh, bike team 01908 643 603 been out with RB wishing you safe riding be well, be safe and we'll catch you on the next one until then, bye bye <laughs>